Hello, welcome to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on a tour of the Hobby Farm, January 2016. This morning I've got to go out and feed the animals, so let's go. Hi, I've got two eggs this morning. This is January 7th, and two of my chickens are laying eggs. Let's check the food inside. Their water, I have a, a light bulb under their water to keep it from freezing at night. And it's hooked up to that thermal cube, and I have all the grain they want to eat, I have that always full. So I wonder if that's part of the reason why they are still giving me eggs. I've had an egg a day throughout the winter uh, and it wasn't augmenting their lights uh, or anything. It was just making sure they were draft free, they were warm enough, and they had plenty of water and food. So I don't know how true that is about keeping sufficient light in there so they keep in egg production. On uh, one of those videos that I'm referring my uh, viewers to in those video series on the uh, Victorian farm and the other farms. Anyway, uh, there was one in there that uh, they indicated in the Victorian period or the Edwardian period, I'm not sure which one it was, that when they were raising chickens, they didn't have the option of extra light, but to keep an egg production year round, they indicated that they just left uh, food in there, had plenty of food for them. And also in the video, they acknowledged that in the winter time, when food becomes scarce, they, chickens don't have that energy or that supplement energy or protein to be able to pr uh, produce eggs, so they stop laying eggs through the winter in the natural realm but if as a farmer you provide them with the food and nutrients they need it gives them that energy for protein and uh, stuff to be able to produce eggs year-round so I'm not really convinced it's the light I'm looking more in the uh, idea that it's the nutrients so let's continue my chores here at the hobby farm <laughs> get some grain for you guys. Make sure they have fresh water. 
This one's muddy, so we'll dump this out. And we'll rinse it out. up we're gonna go ahead and take care of the rabbits. I'm rethinking the rabbit hutch thing. I've been uh, doing some more uh, research online about uh, rabbit care and I'm finding that rabbit hutches made out of wood are much harder to keep sanitary so I may end up just doing away with the rabbit hutches and just going with all wire cages and uh, going ahead and building a, a rabbit tree this spring. I'm collecting enough material to be able to do that, so let's give them some water. Hey Luna, this is my doe that gave birth to those bunnies under the uh, fall e uh, moon equinox. So I just, since she's all white, I just named her Luna. And that's my, what they call Madagascar colored rabbit. I think I'll just call her Maddie. <laughs> haven't quite named the rabbits yet. I haven't had them a year yet. There you go, Maddie. That would be easy to remember because I can remember the color. Okay, let's go take care of the rabbits in the barn. It's uh, warm enough today, I can go ahead and uh, take these rabbits out and sanitize and clean the cages and get all this hair burnt off with a propane torch and get them some uh, a little bit cleaner environment. See this is a uh, stuff in it. Maybe I take these water bottles down and sanitize those too, get them all clean. Healthy rabbits are easier to take care of. Here you go, boy. These are two of my young bucks in this cage. And I kept two uh, young does that Luna gave birth to. Uh, the Madagascar gave birth to this one dark buck here. And Luna gave birth to that little white buck over there. And then his sisters are right here in this cage. And this is my old rabbit, Rosie. She doesn't breed. She just eats. And I'm not sure if I want to keep her. Because she's got stuff in there. that out of there. Sanitize all these bottles. Okay. And give them some food. You poor things. That you're hungry. Alright. Let's get you some food. I feed them uh well, it's a Purina rabbit chow complete with uh, high protein for the winter. Because all this cold, they need the extra energy to be able to uh, keep themselves warm. Poor babies. I'll get them all cleaned up today. There you guys go. There you go, pumpkin. And you got food. Okay. 
What you doing with your nose through the cage? You're funny. Hey guys, how's your... Okay, get you guys topped off. I got these heat lamps in here that come on when the uh, thermal cube, they're plugged into the same thermal cube as the, the light bulb in the chicken house. So they'll all come on at the same time when the temperature dips down to freezing. And I've got it pointed at their cages, mainly at their water bottles, keep their water bottles from freezing up. I got one pointed over there and one pointed down there at the uh, rabbits. So I got chores to do, got clean cages. So. I'll be working out here today. So I did some reorganization of the goose pan and duck pan, getting it cleared out. And I think all I have to do left in here for the rest of the winter is bring in some bales of that uh, wood chips for the floor to give them something dry to walk on. I'm going to go ahead and check the nesting boxes to see if we have eggs. This is uh, January 7th. And I noticed the ducks, uh, well at least the drakes, have been chasing the hens around quite vigorously. So we'll check for some eggs. Okay. Any eggs? No eggs. No eggs in there. Oh, we got an egg. No egg. Got another duck egg. That's three this year now. I'll just clean this up and put it in the incubator. Once I get a dozen eggs, I got a guy that wants to buy some ducks from me, so I'll go ahead and uh, incubate them and sell him those. So let's go back over to the barn. I have been working in the barn all day. I turned the camera off here a little bit ago and I got busy working and put about five hours into uh, taking all the rabbit cages out, scrubbing them up with a scrub brush and sanitizing them and reinstalling them in here and then I cleaned out all the the floor in the uh, in the barn here and I think the rabbits are a little bit more comfortable the heat lamps are back so they'll come on when it gets too cold and just keeps the uh, water from freezing so there's the rabbit tree so I gotta work this weekend so I don't have time to do any more chores here on the hobby farm I'll go ahead and take this uh, uh, chip in, put it in the computer, and produce this video for y'all. Uh, give you something to look at through the weekend. Um, trying to work out some um, projects for next week because I do want to get busy. It was a beautiful day today. It afforded me the opportunity to go ahead and take care of the goose and duck pen and the rabbits. And at least get that done. And next week I'd like to take care of the chicken coop and get them uh, uh the stuff changed out in there. Uh, I also have a couple more projects. So I'm going to go get this little guy in the house, get him cleaned up, and get ready for incubation. So I'm glad you guys joined me here on this video. I, uh, I hope you guys continue to do, uh, click in and view our ongoing adventure here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. I, I got two more eggs. That's four eggs today for my chickens. Maybe my theory is correct on the food and not the light.